Hey everybody, it's me, Lore, again, as I put recently in my Instagram uh, descri description. It's Lore, your favorite genderqueer from New York. Um, yeah, I'm liking non-binary, I'm liking genderqueer, because that's really, you know, genderqueer I feel like encompasses it all. Like, I don't fit into a box, you know? Sometimes I like to wear more masculine clothes, sometimes I like to wear more feminine clothes. So anyway, genderqueer, non-binary, and any pronouns are cool, so just wanted to get that out there. But um, today I have a special guest again. My sister Alyssa is going to be joining me. She's going to come in here real quick. I got wrinkled get... in for another cameo. Yes, cameo by Alyssa. Mm. So we just had a lovely conversation with our amazing, amazing friend Al. He's like... He's like family, Uncle Al, and so um, and he has his YouTube channel, Kindred Souls of Brooklyn, and he does so much great work with his foundation, the Waffles Foundation. So I was like, you know what? Let's make a video, and Alyssa decided to join me. So decided, <laughs> felt <laughs> obligated, pulled yeah. to have her image on mine. Well, um, yeah, so I, since I made my last video where I had a really big breakthrough, I've been really, really good. It was like, I mean, there have been some slips, yeah, but... Um, Which is realistic. It's realistic, yeah, there's ups and downs. But um, it feels good, and I'm, I was, I kind of have these moments where I'm worried about, like, them finding it, because I didn't specifically send it to my birth mother and my birth sister, and but I did block them on social media and um, I didn't block their phone calls because if God forbid there's a family emergency, I you know, would like to know. But um, so I haven't heard anything. So that's kind of been like weighing on me. Like, when am I going to hear? When am I going to get the screaming phone call? But what do you think? Do you think I've been doing okay with it? For them, I think, I think it's unrealistic to think that there wouldn't be issues that come along with that yeah. and to say that there aren't um you know you have been binging on food that yeah. you had gotten better at that's um, true yeah and a little bit every day does add up you know yeah definitely yeah. just and it's the you know i went in the freezer and i snuck this yeah or I snuck an extra spoon you of know i cut a piece of pie i cut a piece of pie and then i you know took a bite of it yeah because but, that's what addiction know, is that's and what that's... addiction is. And yeah, I think you've been handling it well. There was a little bit of the, you know, lashing out at me and then it very quickly turned into, you know, why do they not even care enough to fight me? Because I'm that insignificant. And mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's that's to be expected. It's, it's better than an entire hour walk of screaming. It's, you know, five minutes. Mm -hmm. And yet, I mean, it's not like, okay, and you know, I've hit this mark and now I'm healed. Yeah. Because to think that that would happen is unrealistic. But I think that it's, you know, it's a big step. It's a step. Exactly. You know, yeah. it's maybe you skipped a few on the staircase. Yeah. But you didn't go sliding down on 12 covered in ice, which I, I did. Yeah. I so, did that recently. yeah. <laughs> It's but, better. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. why, you know, I wanted to have Alyssa here too, because like, it's important to, sh I want to show people it's important to have someone in your life who is going to check you and let you know, like, I've, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm doing good, but yeah. that's not realistic. There have been bad moments. So yeah. it's important to have people in your life who are going to check it's you. It's raining today. It's, you know, it's still winter. It's rainy today. There are definitely signs that spring will return, but it's rainy today. You know, we're both achy because you know we both have we have active lifestyles we've had injuries and we already have them and you were good and you did your exercises today and it's going to be achy it's damp out it's cold and things have been going on but you know it's it's the I am going to go for this walk in the rain I'm going to walk for an hour yeah I'm going to get wet but do I have to make it worse because I am wet exactly so so yeah just you know find your people find someone in your life that's going to mm -hmm check you call you out on your crap when you're you know you're I like I'm doing nice this. about it oh yeah, yeah that was not but fine find someone who's gonna nicely call you out and you know that's the thing like you need people that you can support I I you know Alyssa had something she was 
obsessing about with her anxiety and I said okay you need to stop right now this is we can't deal with that right now so we definitely help each other and oh for sure it's definitely it's, not one-sided it's yeah so um yeah so that's it just wanted to make a little progress yeah. report and update and and speaking of our people you can continue on if you want but there's a little fluffy person who needs me to go feed him yes it's so. dinner time for so be Alyssa well signing off everyone and um, support the waffles foundation definitely yes wafflesfoundation.org yes so yeah you know the waffles foundation they could use your instruments they could use your donations anything and just they you know al and carrie and everyone involved in the foundation they're just amazing people and you know it's horrible that they had to suffer this great loss to come from that but at least you know there's a little bit of something good coming out of it so help look out for each other everyone and you know be be honest with yourself and with each other and you know i i like to tell myself oh i'm doing so great and i like and it's not realistic there there have been slips i have been doing better but there have been some slips. So I'm really glad that, you know, I didn't know what this video was going to be about when I made it, but I'm really glad that Alyssa was here with me to say that because, you know, I just like, oh, I'm great. I'm better. But there are, there are still hard days. There are still hard patches, but, um, I have my, uh, doctor's appointment tomorrow. I call in and check and probably have my prescription refilled. That's what I do like that. Um, he, I have a conversation with him every week. So he decide we evaluate, do I want to change the dose? Do I want, is it working and everything? So I'm excited to have my appointment with him tomorrow because I'm excited to tell him about that breakthrough. And um, he's really helpful, you know, with, you know, helping me see that the medication helps and, you know, there are still going to be ups and downs. And then next week I have my therapist session. I talk to her once a month too. And you know, she, you know, we dive deeper into everything. Um, so then, the, you know, the psychiatrist is like a 10, 15 minute call. And with her, it's like a 45 minute session. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for life. It's winter. It's cold. It sucks. But the fact that I'm here, I'm still living, breathing, able to share my story with the world. That's a good thing. So be kind to each other, take care of yourselves, and um, if you're anyone watching this, just know that you are loved and you matter, and thank you for watching.